bivariate distribution and we want to find the expected value for a bivariate distribution. We let x and y have a joint probability density function f of x, y is equals to k of x, y, where x lies between 0 and 2, and y lies between 1 and 3, and 0 otherwise. So the first step is we want to find the value of the constant k. And so the approach will be that the double integral from 0 to 2, 1, 2, 3, of k, x, y, d y dx should be equals to 1. So if we can do that integral, then we'll be able to have the solution to that. I can then express this as k. We can decide to start with x, 1, 2, 3, y, x squared over 2, and x lies between 0 and 2, dy. And this gives me 2 squared over 2, so this will be k, 1, 2, 3, that is 4 over 2, which is 2, so it will be 2y dy. So that's the integral that we find, and this, if we take it to the next step, will be equals to k, 2y squared over 2, and 1, 2, 3. And this will be k. These two cancels out. This will be 9 minus 1, which is 8k. So from the definition that we had, what we means is it means that 8k is equals to 1. And thus, k is equals to 1 over 8. And so if k is 1 over 8, then we can write our joint probability density function as 1 over 8 of uh, x, y, where x lies between 0 and 2, and y lies between 1 and 3. And therefore, that would be the solution uh, to that uh, constant k. The value of constant k would be 1 over 8. With that, we can find the expected value of x, y, and therefore by definition is the double integral of x, y times 1 over 8 x, y dx, dy, or dy, dx. And we can write that as 1, 2, 3, 0 to 2, 1 over 8 x squared y squared dx and dy. And what that does that give us? It gives us 1 to 8, 1 over 8, 1 to 3. I put y squared aside. It will be x cubed over 3. And the integral, the limits of integration is 0 to 2, the dy. Uh, 2 raised to power 3 is 8, so it is 8 over 3 times, so it will be 1 over 8 times 8 over 3, and then the integral from 1, the integral is from 1 to 3 y squared dy, and this is equals to 1 over 3, and this will be y cubed over 3, and the limits of integration is 1 to 3. <coughs> so it's at that. 3 cubed is uh, 27, so it will be 27 over 3 minus 1 over 3, which will be equals to a that times 26 over 3, and therefore the expected of x, y will be equals to 26 over 9. So we are able to get expected value and uh, we can get other values and uh, for example we could be told to find expected of 
x squared y and therefore by uh, definition it's 1 over 8 double integral x squared y times the f of x x y dx dy and this will give us 1 over 8 the integral from 1 to 3 0 to 2 now we have x cubed we have y squared x cubed dx and dy and this gives us 1 over 8 the integral from 1 to 3 y squared this is x to power 4 over 4 and the limits of integration is 0 to 2 dy so 2 to power 4 is 16 16 divided by 4 is 4 so we have 4 so basically it will be 1 over 8 times 16 over 4 the integral of 1 to 3 y squared dy and we know this will cancel out by will cancel out by 8 1 by 8 2 by 2 1 by 2 2 so it's 1 over 2 the integral of y will be y cubed over 3 from 1 to 3 which will be equals to a half y uh, 3 less power 3 is 27 so it will be 27 over 3 minus 1 over 3 which is a half times 26 over 3 and the solution will be 13 over 3 so we can get the expected values if we have been given a bivariate distribution